Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick video to show you quite a few of them are hatched. Basically, bar one, all of the chickens have hatched and we're just waiting on the pheasants, which I'm kind of guessing might be tomorrow. I and mean, then maybe about a day late, depends, you know. Because um, the reason why that happens is the chicken eggs were from my own hen, so they're very, very fresh. But the pheasant eggs were ordered in. And I think they weren't exactly fresh um, which does kind of delay the hatch by a day or so depending on how not fresh they are kind of if you say it, if you know what I mean um, but yeah so they're in there I'll show you them in a second but what I wanted to show you is um, one of the eggshells so the reason why I want to show you the eggshells is I was talking about blood vessels and you know we could always see blood vessels whenever we candled and things like that and when I was helping the chick out we were very careful about not breaking any blood vessels those are the blood vessels that we were looking at um, inside the egg when the incubation was progressing and what happens is when they're ready to hatch the blood vessels obviously do stay there as you can see but the blood recedes away from them and that's an indicator of ready to hatch so if you ever find that you need to help a chick and when you're helping them you get some blood that chick's not ready um, a drop of blood shouldn't kill it but put it back wet it and put it back let it uh, sit in the incubator for a bit longer and wetting it is important because again on my help out video um, the chick caused itself to burst a blood vessel which then wasn't wet it dried and it stuck the chick to the eggshell. So that's what happened. Um, so that's basically it really. The umbilical cord normally is in there as well and they pull away from it. That's normally right down inside there. So as you can see they're quite active at the moment. Um, so yep yeah, they're very active. Very active. Um, they've dried off quite thoroughly I think there's about eight or nine in there eight in there at the moment so yeah and they know who's they know who's mommy and daddy so they do recognize so yeah some lovely colors have come out and um, some really lovely colors um, but yeah this is just a quick video inside the incubator but I'll do another video once I've got them out in the brooder. But yeah, there they are. Lovely. Um, have we got some around the back? Yeah, we've got some line there around the back there as well. Um, a little bit tired. <laughs> but yeah, they're alright as well. They're nothing to worry about. Let's see if I can get them up. It's good to tap and do and cheat, chirp because that's what the mother does. So it's always good to do that. It, it encourages them. Oh, naughty! <laughs> Bit bossy that one. Yeah, there we have it. So that's the that's the bird so far. The chickens, at least. Um, Still waiting on this one to hatch, that's the last one to hatch. I did kind of take a sneak peek and look at it when I took the eggs out, the shells out. And the chick's still in there, it's still alive, the beak has come through the air cell. So hopefully it might hatch by tonight or tomorrow morning at least. So still, still hopeful there, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much major issues there with it. But you know, you never know, anything can happen, it can go either way. But there we have it. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.